So today we're just gonna review the cuddle cot, which is what we use with our um, babies that have passed. Um, so we have this big blue box that is generally in the nursery underneath the first computer in the um, bottom cabinets. So when you open up the box, all of the stuff will be inside of it. For two first choices you have to make is what size do you need? So if it's a small baby, you can use the small piece of um, bubble wrap foil. And if it's a large baby, you have the bigger piece. I'm gonna use the small one for today just because it's easier. So you're gonna put the shiny side up towards the baby. What that's gonna do is keep the cold reflecting up towards the baby um, instead of down into the crib. You also have two sizes of the actual cooling blanket. Again, I'm just gonna use the smaller one because it's easier for demonstration. So then that is your piece that's gonna go on top of there. You then have your tubings, which obviously the two pieces go together. So you're gonna have to push really hard to get them to click on both sides. If we can get them to click. It's not the easiest, but there we go. So once you have that clicked, then you're ready to connect your tubing to your machine. So your machine has um, a port on the bottom. You'll see a button on the top and a button on the bottom. You're just gonna push this straight into there. And there you go. Um, now, to turn your machine on, what we need to do is put water in it. So you're always gonna take your machine and your equipment to the patient's room before you put water in it. The big thing with this is the motor is on the top. We don't wanna get any liquid into this area. So we're gonna open the top, plug it in. We're using distilled water in this machine only. So if we run out, just let myself or Danielle know we're gonna pour the distilled water right into here and be careful not to over spill onto that motor piece. Once you're filling it, you're gonna see the reservoir here in the front fill up. In order to keep this liquid cold, we're gonna add this biocide. So when you open it, it's got a squeeze bottle top. You're gonna to put two drops in there. And then you're gonna close the top of this and you're actually gonna turn it on. So the red on off button is over here. This lovely little packet that's in there will tell you a reminder that we want this to cool to 46 degrees. So you're gonna use your down arrow till it says 46 and that's where it's gonna cool to. And we're gonna let it cool off. So right now it's reading that it's 76, but it will eventually go up. As this is running, you'll feel the liquid kind of come through here. It's already cooling off and so then you're ready to use it. You always wanna make sure this is on a solid surface, not on like the, the pull out from the crib or in a drawer, because if this tips and liquid gets in the top, then it's ruined. Um, and then this can keep running for the whole entire time that the baby is with us. Uh, you don't wanna have the baby in like five blankets with this underneath, otherwise the cold's not gonna to get to them, but um, one or two blankets is okay. Um, when the parents decide that they're done with the baby or they're ready to go home, that's when we're gonna stop this. So you're gonna turn this off. You're gonna disconnect your hose. So in order to disconnect your hose, there is a button on the bottom here. You're gonna push that and that releases your actual hose piece. Once that's out, then you're gonna unplug the machine and you're gonna gently take it to the sink and you're gonna hold it in a very flat way. You're gonna grab the little key that's connected right here inside of the box on a ring because you need this to release the water. So the way that this works is you have to push the key into the front. So the key goes right here in the front, you push it, and then the water will pour out. So you can see it pouring out. I'll clean that up in a minute. Once it's completely empty and you see that the reservoir is empty, you wanna open up the top of here so that the whole inside of it will dry out. And then once that's done, you're gonna put this back in the box and put it back in the nursery. All the parts are reusable, so you wanna clean everything with Cabby Wipe and put it all back in here. That's it.